Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can make your house smell really good. Um, so these are all kind of like DIY air fresheners. Um, I don't think I really came up with any of these. I'm sure I saw them on Pinterest or my mom shared one with me maybe. I'm not really sure, but these are things I've been doing for years um, just to make a certain area like your car, your house or closet, whatever, um, just smell really good. So the other thing is that these are really easy and fast to do and most of the items are just in your house already. So let me jump into the three different things you can do to make your house or car or whatever smell great. So the first one is gonna probably give you the strongest smell and that's just using unstoppable scent boosters and then little mesh baggies. So literally this is the easiest thing in the entire world. You just fill the bag up about, I do about halfway. These things are extremely potent. I'm already spilling them everywhere. Um, so you fill it about halfway up and then tie it. That's it. This is literally the DIY. It's so easy. So now I'll put this in my closet. Um, I usually put it near my shoes. So my shoes, you know, because they get stinky over time. Um, or you can put it in your car is a really good one too. But this will make everything smell really good. Another thing you can do if you don't have one of those mesh bags is get a mason jar of some sort, like this is a little one, and we don't need this piece right here, so we can get rid of that. We just need these two. Then what I do is put some of these um, unstoppables in the jar, like that, so you can fill it as much as you want. I don't, You don't need very much though. Okay, then once you have that, you just put a paper towel on, and I just pull it kind of snug over it, like this, and we're gonna put the lid on, okay? Once the lid's on, you can literally just rip this off go all the way around like that. So now this is thin enough that the smell will come through, but if you really wanna make it super strong, um, you can just like poke little holes in the top with a pen, knife, something like that, just a couple holes. And then you can just put it on a shelf somewhere and it'll make everything smell really good. The second one is super easy, it's the easiest one and it's just using dryer sheets. Um, so all you really do is just take some of these dryer sheets and put them around your house. But what I like to do, and call me crazy, but I rip them in half because I find, do you see all that right there? Um, I just find that when the fibers are ripped like this, the smell is stronger. So I take these two halves and then I'll put them in like my underwear drawer, my sock drawer. You can put them in your closet, um, in your car. And it really just makes the area that you put them in smell really good. Now the third one is the one I probably use the most often and you can reuse old air fresheners for your car or you can make your own. So for this one, you'll need some sort of paper. You can use construction paper, regular paper, cardboard, anything like that. Um, and then you'll either need some string or like a uh, clothespin. If you're gonna use the string, you'll also need some tape. And then finally, you'll just need something to make it smell good. So I have either lavender or peppermint um, essential oil. So if you want to, you can use this entire sheet. Um, what I usually do is just fold it in half and then half again, um, or you can cut it into smaller pieces, but the thicker the paper, um, the longer the smell will probably last. So then once you have your paper like this, we're gonna get some string. Um, so I'm gonna take this, and I've cut a piece that's about a foot long, and I'm just gonna tape this to the back. So make sure your loop is big enough that it can go over your rear view mirror, and then I'm just gonna tape this right on here. Oops. Just tape it like that. And then I'll do another one right here at the top. Just so that it doesn't flip flop and go everywhere. So right at the very top there. There you go. Okay, so now you're probably thinking, okay, what do I do with this? Um, so I will need another piece of tape to hold this together. Um, but I don't want to see the tape, so I'm gonna fold it and just put it right on the inside. There we go. Okay, so now for the smelly part. So now what I'm gonna do is my favorite smell and taste actually is peppermint. Um, so all I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna just start dabbing it on here. Now the more of this you put on, the stronger the smell. You can do it on both sides if you want to, um, but if you're gonna do both sides, you have to let one side dry first. Uh, just a quick warning, if you're going to use peppermint essential oils, do not get it on your hands. Um, peppermint burns the skin, not like burns what you think, but it's got like a tingly sensation, which is not a big deal if it's on your hands, but then if you rub your eye or anything like that, you're gonna be in kind of a lot of pain. So now you'll wanna just set this aside and let it fully dry. 
So this is pretty much dry now so we can hang it up in the car. So you can cut this into shapes. You want to make like a little heart or something like that to make it more pretty. Um, but you just hang this up in your car and then the smell comes off the paper and it makes it smell really good. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave me comments below so I know you were here. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I'll talk to you later.